Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 28 to November 3rd, 2019. And bear with me a second here, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and we are to jump right into the reading. So the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Pisces, that is to be the Chariot card, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to face and overcome throughout the week, hopefully that is to be the Eight of Swords. Then the third card which represents the positive aspects of the week here, that will be the Ace of Swords. And then the last one is going to be the Guidance the Tarot is offering and the Guidance is represented by the Page of Wands. All right, all right, so quite sort of a... Um, Mm, how can I say it? A, a week of a, a significant triumph and a breakthrough. It is what see, it's uh, in front of you. But uh, the first card which stands for the topic here is going to be the chariot, like said, and it's accompanied by the moon card. Very interesting. So we do have a passive, um, passive supporters. And uh, hmm, it's kind of like... Uh, it's simply what the combination here says is that this, what does not kills you makes you stronger. It's as simple as that. So the more insecure you are to feel either regarding career or either regarding relationship or relationships, you know, or either regarding a situation, it doesn't matter what kind of a situation, the more determined you are to triumph into that situation. And your determination is going to be the decisive factor, the decisive momentum that you need in order to triumph in reality. So at the end of the day, this week shows that you are going to collect the luck of your hardship, you know, of your work. And at certain points, you may reach even a point of a wish fulfillment, you know, joy of that you actually produced any results, all right, and that actually your maneuvers worked. And for that reason, we can observe with these two cards that you are prevailing over uh, situations in your life that many people did not believe that you can actually end up victorious and kind of take the upper hand over arrivals, um, adversaries, you know, enemies, and so on and so forth. Not to mention that as well, you are going to be praised for it, all right? You're going to be simply recognized for it, which could speak as well for certain promotions, praises, and so on and so forth. Why? Because you won against all odds, it's as simple as that, you know, where, wherever everybody felt insecure and reluctant, apprehensive to take the initiative, you, do, you did it, you, you took the initiative and you made it. And for that reason, you become the invaluable asset um, that simply cannot be put a price on, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Now, one thing is important here to be said is that the chariots itself 
triumphs only through a, a meticulous and thorough preparation. So do not rush it. That's important. All right. Try to do as best as you can with um, simply, you know, with the preparation itself. I don't know how exactly to say it with um, thinking thoroughly. I would say, you know, what kind of an actions you are to do in regards to this endeavor that everybody thinks that it is doomed. It's very much over, but it isn't. And you're going to prove all of these people wrong. Uh, with that being said, uh, this these two cards here may point to a little bit of a premature uh, transition that you also may try to do, which speaks for a premature relationship, you know, or a, a premature, how can I say it, uh, a, a premature promotion and a premature from a standpoint that you haven't made your plans yet, how you are to proceed after the triumph, it's uh, done. And that may cause a little bit of a um, problems, but not that severe problems. So the next card, it is about the challenge and that will be the Eight of Swords, uh, followed by the Four of Swords. So we do have an, an active, a, um, active supporters here. And that's the challenge is going to be your ego. Uh, don't get me wrong here. Uh, you are right to think um, at the end of this procedure that the chariot uh, is pointing, you will be right to be proud of yourself. Okay. And uh, you really need to kind of lift your opinion, kind of lift the bar a little bit, all right, <clears throat> of your expectations, you know, the rewards that you are to receive and so on and so forth. But the thing is that this particular state may make you ignorant for the rest, for those which are around you, may make you ignorant for your partner into your relationship, to your colleagues, and therefore not acknowledging their opinion, therefore not listening to their advices, therefore closing yourself within your own shell. And the challenge here is to really try to, even though you may have very well thought it through, sometimes it is good to have a vision that resides outside of your personal box. So that is to be the challenge. Listen to the... Um, to the recommendations, let's say, or the guidance that those around you are trying to give you, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you are take that you have to take it. But definitely, there are to be some positive aspects that you can incorporate into your plan of how you are to triumph against all odds in regards to this week, October twenty eighth to November 3rd, 2019. The positive aspect that is to be uh, the um, Ace of Swords. Wow, and it is accompanied by the Queen of Swords. So uh, we do have another active supporters in this case. And on a positive note, you have placed the accurate vision upon the entirety of your enterprise, of this thing that it is insecure. What I'm trying to say here it is that very well know how the machine is ticking. And for that reason, you very well know what you got to do. And for that reason, relying on your previous experience that you do had, mostly with previous failures of yours being said that you learn how to not repeat those um, those failures. It does look like that you will be able to push the things through. I mean, I, it doesn't look like that this is going to be any kind of a uh, obstacle for you to actually prevail against the lords. And not only that, but as well, it does look like that your determination is going to be so strong that at the end of the day, uh, you will simply be able to do what it have to or or what it takes in order to establish a um, kind of like a, a momentum into your relationship or momentum into your career, you know, or momentum into this uh, insecure enterprise that everybody else is afraid to take an initiative uh, in. I not to mention as well that um, <clears throat> your spirit is going to be very strong. So you are going to have that spiritual strength and additionally to that, on a positive note, um, you are going to be able to analyze the information very accurately being said that you are going to forewarn yourself for what is to come in regards to career relationship or the insecure endeavor, being able to take the precautionary measures regarding it. 
And uh, the last card here, it is the guidance that Saru is offering, and that is the Page of Wands here, accompanied with the Six of Cups. And as a guidance, these two cards are pointing that you, only you, can um, build up your ultimate happiness, okay? You are strong enough on your own to push these things through, only if you can believe in yourself. These cards are pointing that at some point you will have to get your hands dirty, all right? Or in other words, you will have to do the hard work, the heavy lifting of your personal endeavor, of your personal relationship, of your personal career. But also, at the end of the day, you are going to be the only one who is going to enjoy the, uh, the benefits from the work itself. So yeah, you are going to do all the job, but you're going to take all the rewards. And uh, that is only if you proceed on your own. That being said, you don't have to, you, you should not confuse it with the challenge, okay? You have to listen to the others, but you should not allow them to help you with it. By listening to them, who knows, you may steal some sort of an idea, or you may come up to an idea that it doesn't fit much, you know, with your original plan, but if it is reshaped a little bit, it can actually be an, a very strong asset into your original plan, either regarding career, again, or either regarding relationship. But one is sure here, Pisces, it is that your time of triumph and your time of victory has came. And it doesn't look like that anybody will be able to deprive you from it. So, good luck, and uh, I hope that you fulfill your wish. So that being said, this is uh, your weekly tarot reading, October 28th to November 3rd, Pisces, uh, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.